Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Ross is here and let's do some benchmarks. Alright, this is Xiaomi Mi 11, this is Samsung Galaxy S21 and this is Huawei P40 Pro. Why P40 Pro? Because why not? For the sake of test, of course, it will be better to use Huawei Mate 40 Pro because it's using the new CPU from Huawei but I don't have this beauty in my hand, so sorry about this. Xiaomi Mi 11 using latest Snapdragon 888, Samsung Galaxy S21 using latest Exynos CPU and Huawei P40 Pro using their Kirin 990. Today we'll do some Antutu benchmark, Geekbench 5 and 3D Mark with 3D Mark stress test which is 20 minutes, of course. I will speed up the video because no one will watch a one hour video. First, let's restart our devices and clear everything from recents. You can see guys, cleared recents. So, they are freshly restart and recents are clear. You can see after the restart, Samsung Galaxy S21 is already 97% battery which is, I don't know, this phone and this CPU just have an awful battery life. Before we start, be sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you never miss a video when I upload it. Alright, let's dive in. Let's start with Antutu. Three are ready, let's just start them. Alright guys, you can see what's happened here. As expected, Mi 11 is finished first with incredible score of 802,653 points on Antutu benchmark test. And here we have 523,722. And here we have 541,064. Here Mi 11 is starting at 30 degrees and ending at 38. Here S21 is starting 35.5 and ending 39.8 but the peak temperature here was 42 degrees which is very hot and the coldest device is Huawei P40 Pro 25 degrees at start and ending 31. This is incredible score, I even can't believe that, but at the end of the video I will tell you a secret about this device Huawei P40 Pro and now you can compare the results here. Samsung Galaxy S21 is with a lower scores than Huawei P40 Pro and guys you should know all of three devices are using 8 gigs of RAM and of course latest software updates available for them. Let's check the batteries, Mi 11 is 95 battery now s21 is 91 and p40 pro is 96 of course you also should know that these devices are as it is coming from the box this one is using 120 hertz refresh rate this one also using 120 hertz 
and this one is using 90 hertz refresh rate of the screen test 21 is also as it is no enhanced mode enabled or anything because guys i do this test just to compare these three devices how will you use it every day and of course every day you will never turn on enhanced or performance mode all the time so these devices are just as it is coming from the box all right i will let these devices to cool down a little bit and we'll continue with the next benchmark let's check the temperatures they are cool or not 28 degrees for Mi 11 32 for S21 and 25 for P40 Pro I'm not sure S21 will go lower than this temperature but we'll let them like this for a few minutes Alright, all of the three are naked now without cases because someone will tell me probably S21 is going hotter because of the case Believe me guys, this is not true. This Exynos CPU is just not good. That's it. I think we are ready. Geekbench 5. Let's run them. You can check the result here, I will not spell them one by one, but again, advantage for MIUI 11 as expected, here is the S21 and of course the lowest score is for P40 Pro. Guys, I'm pointing all the time my temperature gun, so you can check the temperature of three devices all the time during the tests. And now we are going for the next and the biggest test, 3D Mark. It will be the longer one. Stay tuned until the end of the video because as you can see results are not what we are expecting. So guys, first I will start with wildlife test and after that I will do a 20 minutes wildlife stress test. All devices are finished and here results are a little bit different than Antutu and Geekbench. Let's check here your score vs all devices is 92%. It's almost the same for these two devices Mi 11 and S21 with Exynos 2100. And you can see here it's 60%. Frame rate here is going from 10 to 24 FPS and here it's going from 9 to 44 and here it's going from 24 to 43 that means s21 is going even one fps more than mi 11 with snapdragon 888 and now guys i think we are ready for the final and the longest run wildlife stress test this is a 20 minute stress test let's just push the play button and see the results Alright guys, results are ready. The difference between best loop and lowest loop is almost invisible. And you can see stability is 90%. This is very important and this device performs perfect. 
here on the S21 it's a little bit different why because again this CPU 2100 from Samsung Exynos is just not as stable as 888 Snapdragon why because you can see stability here is just 67% and the difference between best loop score and lowest loop score is very big and that means when this device is going too hot it is just start throttling and you can see here on the graph what's happened on the stress test from almost 6000 it's going very low to lower than 4000 the weaker cpu is here on p40 pro but you can see the stability is here is almost 100 percent which is incredible that device is very stable almost without any throttling best loop score and lowest loop score almost no difference i never see a result like this of course results are almost doubled down the results of mi 11 but stability is almost 100 percent and here on the s21 you can see the throttling is start from the first loop and on the third loop it was very slower and here when it's just going down which means that the cpu just throttles and then it keeps the performance and here no difference from the start to the end just a flat here we can check the performance range and here you can see on loop 1 and loop 16 what's the difference and here on loop 1 and loop 19 the difference is very big here almost no change and here you can check the battery it's going from 92 percent to 79 here we are going from 87 to 77 and here we are going from 93 to 84 about the secret for p40 pro with this test we can check the peak performance of the cpu and gpu on these devices but in everyday use i can tell you that this device is working better than these two devices the whole system is more stable without stutters lags everything is working perfect and of course battery life is better than these two and i think this is because huawei are stopped android updates and they are stuck with android 10 we all know why that means they are just start polishing their emui without updating android and maybe this is for good all right guys this was the benchmark test between mi 11 s21 and huawei p40 pro if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my videos thank you and have a nice day